Welcome back to the channel. It's Friday, December 8th. I'm up early, getting ready to pack up a few orders. We had a few orders coming to the big store overnight. Let's take a look at what sold. Looks like we had three orders for $47.39. Let's see what sold. First item sold for $16.37. It's a 2XLT Russell Athletic Red Pocket T-shirt top. Short sleeve men's keyword. Second item sold for $11.08. It's a Bali gray top. Shapewear, firm, control, top, tank, shaper, 2XL, nylon, spandex. Third item that sold overnight, sold for $19.94. It's a 7 for all mankind blue women's denim jeans. Keyword, Lexi, boot cut, size 26 waist by 32 inseam. So three orders for $47.39 overnight. A good way to start the morning. I'm going to grab those three orders from inventory. Uh, get some shipping on them and get them ready for the customer. We're up early. We're printing orders. They're getting ready to go out to the customer. Look at that. Shipping labels are getting done. Work's getting accomplished and it's not even 8 o'clock yet. Alright, I got those orders packed up. Now it's time to deal with probably one of my least favorite parts of the business, returns. We had one return come through. A brand new pair of dress pants uh, didn't fit them right. Let me show you. There they are, a brand new pair of Lee dress pants, uh, 38 by 32. It is request amount $20, doesn't work or defective. So I always hate when uh, people file a return and they say it doesn't work or defective. Um, they try it on, it doesn't fit. That doesn't mean it doesn't work or it's defective. It means it doesn't fit. So um, they put the wrong um, reason. So I'm going to go ahead and disagree with the reason provided and uh, file this return. Um, I know when they do that, it does kind of negatively affect your account. So. Uh, you buyers out there, don't do that. Um, put the real reason why you're sending them back. Just a pair of pants that doesn't work or defective. It's not uh, not the right so reason. We took care of that. The refund is being processed now. It's time to relist those pants. In order to do that, you just go back to the original listing, hit that relist button, use the same photos, just adjust the inventory uh, number, and you're all set. Here's the original listing with the original photos. It's a very good listing. It uh, has all the correct information. We're just going to hit that relist button and make it happen. New listing is live. I'm going to add that to some new listings I got up in the store it's a good start to the morning so now that I've handled orders and I've handled the return it's time to go into the photo station and see what I'm gonna list today let's go check things out so I still got this big Christmas tree here that lights up um, I've yet to photograph that and get that listed that's probably on the list today this is a nice um, decorative ornament brand new some uh, kind of glass icicles that hang on the tree. I could probably list those. And then these I was taking a look at how difficult it would be to take photos of them. It looks like you can just grab them like this and uh, take them right out of the box and get a nice photo of them and get them listed. So I think I'm going to do a few of these every day till I get them all online. I got quite a few sitting here ready to go. This was another larger item I was hoping to get listed today. Um, these tall glasses, I think they might be for candles or something, but they have the kind of decorative design on them. Um, they're about a foot long. Two of them are longer than the others, but uh, they're all wrapped up here in a nice styrofoam. They got the box there, so you just slide them right back in that box and they're ready to go. So. I'm going to probably list those, see what they go for, but uh, probably a little bit of a higher price point because they're pretty nice. Um, as you can see, they're quite large. Um, something perfect for the holidays to give a little festive uh, decoration to your place. We also have this uh, crystal nativity scene. We have all the characters here and this little stage back here that they created. I guess it lights up um, with this um, box right here. You put some batteries in there, this stage kind of lights up with lights. Um, they had them all stored in this little box and then it all went into a larger box. So I gotta um, photograph it all, all these characters. I might uh, turn that stage on if I can get it lit up. Um, get them all set up with the, have the little uh, baby Jesus here. Where is baby Jesus? There's the baby Jesus. Um, it's kind of hard to see them 
when it's not lit up, but uh, should be a good little set to get listed today. Here's another larger ornament set. These are all globes, little globe ornaments. Um, this one has, looks like it came off, but uh, here's what they look like when you take them out. You just hang them on the tree, little globe ornaments. There's probably what, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, a dozen globe ornaments. So I'm going to get those listed. Under the globes, we have this. This is an electrified fancy tree top. $25 originally priced. Looks to be an angel blowing a instrument of some sort. Electrified fancy tree top. That's what it says. So I'm not sure if this is vintage. Um, it looks to be kind of old, but um, definitely worth a few bucks. So uh, it has the original box. That'll be an easy one to photograph and list. We had these. Um, this was also in the unit, um, the storage unit that I purchased. It's a little pickleball set, but I think the wife said she wanted to hold on to those, maybe go play some pickleball at the park. So we're going to set that aside, deal with that, uh, use that actually. Um, there was this uh, little power cord. I'm not sure if I'm going to list that or not, but uh, these I definitely will list. Uh, looks like eight packs of uh, ornaments here made in China. Kind of same icicle type themed ornaments. So um, I might just list those as packs of four, do different packs, one in each store, and see how they do. I still have these. These are those Columbia boots I picked up last Sunday. Got those for $7.49. They are missing the insoles, but they're a good, nice pair of boots, size, uh, size nine. Size nine women's boots, Columbia boots. As you can see, the tread on them are still in great condition. Just need some insoles and those will be ready for the trails. So I was taking a closer look at this glass where it includes uh, fake candles. I got two of them lit up in there. Those are um, lit up. I ran out of batteries, but this is what it looks like. These little candles, they take triple uh, A's, three triple A's. So uh, I got six triple A's going in those. I probably won't include those in the purchase because I don't want them to explode in the mail, but uh, that's what they look like lit up. Create a little of that holiday ambiance. There are three different sizes, as you can see. Kind of a tiered um, design with a holiday garland. And uh, I think it has a bird on here somewhere. Let's see. Where's that bird? There's the bird. A little red bird on there. So they're pretty. You get that light shining in them. They look... Quite festive, if you can get it all lined up correctly. Perfect for the uh, dining room table or uh, anywhere else in the home to bring that uh, holiday ambiance to your place. So I'm not sure what to list those for, how much to list those for. I'm thinking maybe, you know, they could go as much as $100, but probably 50 bucks is what I'm thinking. Nice glassware with the candles in there. Comes in a nice box, perfect uh, gifting in time for the holidays. I think $50 is fair. You could always accept offers down to 40 or whatever less they want to offer. But um, $50 plus shipping, I think that sounds like a good starting point. Excuse me, I'm having a little breakfast, but um, something you guys might not know about me is that I'm quite a bit of a UFC fan. So I got those photos taken. I'm taking a little break here. I'm going to watch a little UFC. UFC uh, put this one out for free. Free fight. Patty's got another fight coming up. This is the Patty Pimlet and uh, Jared Gordon fight. Haven't seen this one. So it's 17 minutes long. I'm going to take a little break and watch the fight. See how it pans out. I already know the, how it uh, plays out. But uh, I've never seen it. So um, it is a bit controversial. A lot of people thought Jared Gordon won. Um, but I haven't looked at it yet. So uh, Patty Pimlet. Did get the win ultimately um, in a decision, so I'm gonna watch it and see uh, if I think Gordon won it or if I think uh, Patty sneaked it, uh, snuck it out, squeaked it out rather. Let's take a look. Came out throwing a lot of a lot of kicks, throwing those hands too. Let's see how it goes. Round one, I think Jared Gordon landed a lot of the uh, upper, the face, a lot, a lot of head shots. But uh, Patty Pimlet was working the leg, which probably didn't get a lot of credit for. And he was moving forward most of the round. Um, but I think Gordon 
probably landed the more uh, more damage. So we'll see. Let's continue. It has a pretty active fight. I guess Patty Pimlet is fighting uh, Tony Ferguson, the veteran. Uh, I think it's this weekend. So we'll see how that one goes. Uh, that'll kind of determine where he stands with the elite, uh, if he is among them or if he is, uh, he's not. So I just finished that fight, finished watching it. Uh, it was a good fight. Um, I think, you know, Pimblet got the win. I thought it was justified. Uh, yeah, he did enough. I think he did enough to win it, but uh, a lot of people thought Jared Gordon won, so uh, who knows, maybe they'll get to run it back uh, somewhere down the line. Patty's uh, facing uh, Tony Ferguson, like I said, uh, this weekend, I think. So if he keeps winning, Gordon keeps winning, uh, they make it a, a decent rematch. That'd be a nice one to see all again. All right, enough goofing off. I've got all this Christmas stuff sitting here ready for me to list. Uh, took me a while to get it all photographed, but I did. Um, I've got four of those nice ornaments uh, ready to go. I'll probably start with those. Those will be easy. Start with the easy stuff, uh, just knock them out one at a time. I think it's now the 8th and I've been listing uh, holiday stuff all this week, so um, I'm not sure how much longer I want to continue listing uh, just Christmas stuff. I'm getting a little burnt out on listing Christmas stuff, but uh, I've still got a bit left to go. I think I'm going to power through and uh, get listed what I have sitting here and then uh, dive back into clothing and other stuff uh, later in the month. Um, I think uh, it's more fun to do clothing. I think that's what I'm familiar with, what I'm comfortable with. So this Christmas stuff has been a little bit of a departure, but uh, I had it to list, uh, so I might as well list it. I spent the money on it when I bought the storage unit. So to get a week's worth of listings, or two weeks probably, um, it's, uh, it'll save me some money in inventory since I already uh, owned it. All right, I'm getting some of these holiday items listed, making some good progress. I'm moving on to the larger items. I'm looking at this, uh, it's called the Valerie Hand-Painted Glass Goblets. And it looks like I had planned to list them for 50. There's one up here for 55, so I think uh, 49.99 is probably a good starting price point. I did a search online and that's the one listing that's up that is similar to mine. They're asking $55 with $42.81 shipping. So their shipping is quite high too. So as long as I'm under that, I'll be set. They did do a very good job with their photos. It looks probably much better than mine, but uh, I think as long as I price them under that to price point, I'll be all right. They definitely have some nice uh, photo work on this list. Kind of interesting when you look at some of these other stores. That store is Apollo's Toys, Apollo Toys and Gifts. They have 5,000 feedback, but only 96.1% are positive feedback. So uh, their positive feedback rate rating is much uh, lower than mine. Well, a couple points lower. Um, makes you wonder why. Let me check out their feedback. So it looks like the main concern their customers are having were with the shipping costs and they're charging $42 to ship it which does seem like a high rate. Um, it is a larger package so maybe they are shipping priority. Um, I don't know I think I can charge a little bit less for shipping and uh, about the same amount uh, ask price right below theirs and um, I'll get to sale before them. That's what you have to do sometimes in this game. You got to check out your competition and just uh, do a little bit better than they're doing, and uh, that will lead to more sales. All right, I got that big Mr. Christmas nostalgic white LED Christmas tree posted. Um, I think I put it up for $54.99 with uh, uh, regular shipping. Uh, it was lower than the competitors. Just trying to keep that shipping as low as possible to get the sale this holiday season. So now I'm moving on to these ornaments. I've got four set up here. More in the photo station, but let's uh, get started with these four. Here's a look at them. As you can see, they have the Santa graphics on the front there. Pretty detailed graphics on these. They're all different from different years. I'm not sure if I'm going to list them as um, Fixed price or auction. I kind of want them just to be gone. They're lightweight. They won't cost very much to ship. So I might do some auctions. I'm going to have to look them up and see how they're how they're selling. My thought is it, it's the 8th right now. And if we run a couple 7-day auctions, 
um, we can get them sold before Christmas. Uh, people will be buying ornaments up until a certain time, and then they kind of shut that off. But uh, I think right now they're probably buying them. So if I do some auctions with a buy it now, I think it might work out best in my favor. Um, like I said, I'm gonna look them up, see what's uh, what the ornament market is looking like. I see if people are using auctions. I know auctions they tend to go for a lower dollar amount, but um, if we can get them all sold and not have to deal with them later in the year after Christmas, so obviously they're not going to be in demand as much. So uh, we want them gone as soon as possible. All right, we got four listed. Got them up. I decided to go against the auction style listing. Just go with fixed price, start them at $9.99, accept offers. I guess if they don't sell this season, they can always stick around until next season. So I'm just going to do that with the rest of them, get them all up and listed, and hopefully some of those will sell this year. So it's almost 2 o'clock now. I don't want to sit here and list all day long, but I do have some more in the photo station, uh, some more ornaments, and a couple of those Lennox boxes that I uh, opened up. Let me give you guys a look at what I'm going to photograph and get uh, listed tonight. So here's a look at the rest of those um, glass ornaments. They all have the different Santas on there. Um, it's kind of hard to see through here, but I'll get uh, photos of each one taken and get them up and listed so you can get a better look at them on my site. Um, I also put a few more, five more listings up here that I'm going to get photographed and ready to list. This is a little kids uh, safety first little uh, travel set some sort that I got out of a storage unit so I'm gonna list that up it looks to be brand new so uh, I'll just comp it based on what they sell for probably five ten bucks now these are going to sell for a little bit more these are actually pretty sought after Lennox uh, ornament sets I've been holding on to these for a while they were in that the big storage buy that I did a couple years back um, these have been sitting here uh, waiting for me to list. Um, now's the time. Uh, some of these sell for over $100. These uh, nice Lennox glass ornaments. Uh, they go on these little Lennox trees. As you can see, here's a snowman. All kinds of snowman. This is, has ginger me gingerbread men in this one. An angel. Some more sleds and all kinds of stuff. Each one has a different theme, I guess. Uh, this batch came in the red boxes. So I'm going to do those three, get those three photographed. And the last one, a few more toys. I'm going to do a little toy lot here with the uh, three Funkos. Um, get that listed. Hopefully uh, make a sale as a stocking stuffer. So three Linux, Funkos, Safety First, and these ornaments, six ornaments. I still have four more of those Linux um, ornaments there to get into but uh, they do take some time to open up and photograph and everything very intricate little ornaments you got to take a picture of each one and whatnot so it's gonna take a little doing I think if I can get those three Lennox on uh, tonight or tomorrow I'll be sitting pretty in terms of getting those the other four listed this weekend I uh, do a couple each day and I'll be set uh, a couple Saturday couple Sunday. Sunday I do have a uh, photo event to photograph uh, down south at 12Ks of uh, Christmas, a 12K uh, fun run in uh, Kirkland. So I'm going to be busy uh, taking photos at that, but I should be home in time to uh, do some listing that afternoon. So we'll see how things go. So this stairwell that was full of Christmas stuff now only has a few select items. Looks like three items to list and this might be a donatable box, I don't know, it doesn't have much value. So, uh, not doing too bad. Been pretty successful in listing this week. I still have these four Christmas uh, houses to decide what I want to do with, if I want to list them up or uh, keep them or give them away as presents. I'm not quite sure yet, haven't made that full decision. Um, but maybe I'll get those up next week. And Santa and the penguin are still chilling out on these sleds. I could list Santa. I think uh, my wife likes that penguin. She wants to hold on to that. But uh, And these sleds, I might get these sleds listed. There's that one, uh, and this little wooden one here, and another red one. Um, they'd be perfect for in front of the fireplace. Perfect little holiday decor. These glass ornaments are another thing I might list up. Uh, probably do it really cheap. I don't really 
like the idea of shipping those, but um, I guess I could put them in a box and that'd be all right. Hopefully they can make it to their destination, but I just don't think they have a whole lot of value. They might be a big waste of time. Well, no, I don't know. And I showed this candle to my wife. She wasn't that excited by them. She wasn't uh, impressed by the functionality of this construction. She thought, you light that and this is going to get all dirty and whatnot. So I might go ahead and just list this guy as a uh, present. We got the box. We could just ship him right in that box. Um, maybe put him in another box to make it a little bit nicer for the customer but uh yeah he should uh, go for a decent rate it's not gonna be a big money sale he's only a uh, 12.99 purchase price but it does come with this uh... all right there it is got it all lined up ready to be listed a couple funkos a little safety first set all right that was definitely a lot more work than i expected got all those ornaments photographed uh took them out of the box and got a photo of each one both sides all those Linux um, ornaments as well got those all opened up and put back in the box photographed everything as well as those two additional uh, listings that I was gonna do so I'm gonna get those going get them uh, up online and then probably hit uh, hit the road and go on a run uh, drop this packages off at the post office of course I'll take you guys with me uh, before that I'll check out the small store to make sure nothing's sold but uh, I'm gonna do that uh, now. So I just logged into my small store. It looks like we have two orders, both Christmas items and recent listings. Uh, let me show you what sold. There you see it, two orders for $59.69. First item sold for $33.20. Listed this just last night, sold right away. This is a vintage original Swedish brass Christmas angel chimes in box. It comes with the eight candles. So people are getting ready for the holidays. They needed a new chime set, so now they have one. Second item sold for $26.49. It's one of those Hallmark uh, Hallmark ornaments. This one is a USS Enterprise Hallmark Keepsake Star Trek Magic Light Ornament from 1993. We call it vintage. So I'm going to go grab those two items from inventory, get some shipping on them, and get them ready to go out in today's batch of orders. All right, I'm gonna head into town, drop my orders off, and then go stop by Lake Patton for a run. I'm gonna take you guys with me, so let's hit the road. All right, we got a healthy tote of orders ready to go to the post office. Let's get them there in time. <laughs> As you saw, we made it here to Lake Patton. There's actually some uh, daylight left. Um, last couple times I've been here, it's been almost dark. And well, a couple times pitch dark. Um, we got our runs in anyways. Uh, today we got a little daylight left. So I'm going to get out there on the trail, get that 2.6 miles in, and then I'll report back. Alright, another successful 2.6 miles accomplished starting to get dark out there before it gets dark I'm gonna take you guys down and show you the lake it's quite full probably more full than I've seen it in some time I want to take you guys over to that uh, water runoff and show you how fast that water's running uh, if I can catch my breath first then we'll head over there let's go So before it gets any darker I want to take you guys straight to that water runoff uh, so you can see it it's just gushing, it's, it's flowing quite uh, heavy. Let me show you. Look at this, look how high this water level is. So in past videos, I used to walk right out there, get pictures and video of the herons and whatnot. Now it's all the way up to the edge. It's like five feet from the trail, all the way to the edge. So I had to run over here. You could probably hear it now, that water runoff area under the bridge here. Look how fast that water is running. It's flowing like mad. This is where it goes through right here under the bridge. And it's right up to the edge there. As you can see the lake is quite full. 
springtime we got the video of the chicks over here, the ducks. As you can see there's only a little edge of uh, land left. It's water all the way up to the edge, all the way around. So there's a look at the lake. There's the dock. As you can see we have that fog over on the far end by the dog park again. Looks pretty picturesque. Nice photo, nice photograph or video here. It's probably the most full I've seen the lake in some time. Here's a look uh, from the bench here. You can see the water's right up to the edge there. No beach at all. So this is the area I've walked down and gotten video from in the past. There's no room to get down there anymore. Look at this, all this loose debris that we've uh, taken photographs of. It's been all pushed over here to the edge. All right up to the trail. Here's the area right across from the tennis courts. Right up to the barrier. Um, we got about a foot left until we cross that barrier. So it's quite full over here as well. Look at that, even the park branch is flooded out. All full. This is the normal area I show you. I usually step down there and there's about uh, 10 feet before I can uh, show you the rest of the lake. Uh, this is the normal view you guys get after my runs. But uh, today we're right on the edge. The water is about a foot or two from the edge of this uh, barrier here, this little cliff area. I've joked about it in the past, wondering if the water gets up there. It obviously does. So I wanted to, to show you guys that. Uh, finished the run and thought I would uh, run over there, add another half a mile to my run so you could see that, how full the lake was and uh, how that runoff is just uh, flowing like crazy. I'm not sure if there's a way for them to get more runoff, uh, empty the lake out a little, but uh, it's a little worrisome to me. I don't mean it's uh, one warm day away from the trails flooding out. I don't know if that's ever happened, but uh, I've never seen it, um, but that water is quite high. Starting to get almost too dark for video now, but look at that nice fog rolling in over there. That's quite a sight. I kind of like when it does that. It gives a nice element to the scenery here. Definitely lots to see. There's a good look at the lake. Nice and full. So we'll have to keep an eye on the lake and see uh, what tomorrow brings. I don't know, will be more water or less? We'll have to wait and see, I guess. So I'm going to head back to the car, uh, head home and do some more work. I've got those ornaments waiting for me at home to get some more of those listed as well as that Linux. I want to get those up uh, either today or tomorrow. We'll see how much I can get uh, accomplished tonight. Alright, we made it safe and sound back to the car. Uh, today was a pretty good run. Probably give it an 8 out of 10. That little extra daylight actually adds an element uh, that I enjoy. You feel a little bit more alive, not so uh, panicked. I guess you run with a little urgency when it's dark out. You can kind of catch your breath and take your time a little bit more when there's uh, some daylight ahead of you. Yeah, it was nice to see a couple of those Christmas items selling out of the small store. I listed those yesterday and uh, and they sold today. Um, so uh, that's promising. Uh, sometimes you do a lot of work and you don't see any results. So it uh, kind of gives you... Uh, some hope for the future that some of these Christmas items will start selling uh, as the season uh, winds down. We only have a few more weeks left of this uh, holiday rush, so I'm trying to get all that uh, stuff listed in hopes that uh, we'll have a big uh, week or two uh, before the holiday season, before the big day, the 25th. I know uh, I have uh, Express on a lot of those in priority mail, so they can get out there in uh, two to three days, sometimes a day if you want to pay for express oh we're fogging up so i'm gonna head home and uh get to work so that was interesting i'm not really sure why that fogged up but uh, looks like it's starting to clear up we'll take the camera home and make sure he's uh give him a little rest i guess there they are the last three linux items that i got listed these holiday miniature ornaments it's a little after 8 o'clock now. I got all those uh, Christmas ornaments listed, uh, the individual ornaments, as well as three of the Lennox uh, ornaments. I got four more to do still in the photo station, so I'll get to that this weekend, hopefully. But um, yeah, we've been busy tonight. Got quite a few listings up. It was kind of a slow sales day today, but um, that's to be expected. Um, took some time off a of listing last weekend, so sometimes that happens when you don't get fresh listings into the algorithm um, 
eBay definitely rewards you for the listing. Um, so getting those listings up today will hopefully lead to some more sales in the future here. Uh, I think I'm going to call this an end to the video. I'll get after it again tomorrow with some more holiday listings. I've got some more uh, stuff in the photo station ready to go. Um, just kind of continuing to post holiday stuff till I get tired of it or run out of inventory. Um, hasn't happened yet. But I want to thank everybody for watching. This is my attempt to get to 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 hours of watch time. So if you haven't hit that subscription button, please take a second to do so. Uh, maybe uh, watch a few more videos if you got a little time. I'm inching closer. I'm almost one quarter of the way to uh, where I want to be in order to get the channel monetized. So I'll get there one video at a time. Uh, but uh, this is the end to this one. Uh, we'll see you on the next one. Talk to you later. Bye. Thank you.